Hello everyone, my name is Elmira, and in this video I'll be talking about the impact and history of Augustin Louis Cauchy, who was a French mathematician. Cauchy was born on August 21st, 1789, and died in May, on May 22nd, 1857. What's notable is that he lived his entire early childhood during the French Revolution, which is a very politically tense time, and his father actually had a number of connections to mathematicians such as Joseph Louis Lagrange and Pierre Simon Laplace, who took a special interest in his education because Cauchy's intelligence was just so notable at, at such a young age. After he completed his early education, he actually went to Ecole Polytechnique, which is a very highly regarded university in France at the age of 16, and became a professor there after he ended his career in engineering and working for the French military, which he hated. And a couple of mathematicians were part of the reason that he made such a drastic career shift. He also married Aloise de Burr, who was related to a family that had a number of connections to the publishing industry at the time. And since Cauchy was kind of a controversial figure, as we'll later discuss, this was actually really critical for his work to get out into the public. Cauchy has a number of very significant contributions to calculus. However, I can't go over all of them in this video. What I must emphasize, though, is that he is known for defining calculus in terms of limits and continuity. This can be seen in the sequence of convergence on the right, and this actually relates to the Cauchy criterion, which states that the absolute value of a sub n minus a sub n is less than epsilon. To summarize all of that jargon, that basically just means that given an infinite series, the, the difference between partial sums must be less than this infinitesimal quantity of epsilon that is greater than zero. This relates, this all just proves convergence, and this relates to the end term test in which the limit of said series must approach zero in order to converge. Additionally, Cauchy was able to prove um, a strong, the stronger version of L'Hopital's rule through his second intermediate value theorem, which is right here. You can see the work for that. And this basically is a less generalized version of the Lagrange intermediate value theorem. What's so significant about, significant about all of Cauchy's findings is that he was working in this like golden period of math in which even though calculus had been founded for a number of years, you know, with the work of Lagrange, McLaurin, him, and amongst other people, he was able to, you know, allow calculus to grow, you know, infinitesimally. <laughs> and actually right here, you can see the work that he did with McLaurin that actually proves the integral test as well. Besides being very well known for his contributions to calculus, Cauchy was also very well known for being very odd in terms of his political and religious views. He was an extremely devoted evangelical Catholic, and he was also an avid supporter of the constitutional monarchy. This actually resulted in him losing a number of his academic positions after the July Revolution of 1830, where he was championing King Charles X and refused to take an, an oath of allegiance to Louis Philippe I, to, that actually was required for a number of his positions. After a year or so of him not teaching, he was actually requested by King Charles X to tutor his son in math, who ended up disliking the subject after being tutored. Here's my work cited, and I hope you learned something new about Augustin Louis Cauchy, and thank you for watching.